Body Gang, what is good? It is day five of our prep for preseason series. We're gonna hit an upper body lift today. As you can see, we got the sleeper build merch on already. Now I decided to go with a bigger breakfast for today. Eggs, bacon, grits, no sausage though. Some of y'all are gonna be a little too young to understand that trend, but you, you just had to be there. Yeah, I went with a little bit of a bigger breakfast because I'm getting a later start on my lift for today. Since we're only doing one workout today, I decided I'd spend the morning editing some videos for you guys and go knock out the workout later on today. Yeah, the breakfast is a little high sodium too just because I want to make sure I get a good pump in the gym, bro. I'll see that when we get there, but for the time being, let me finish editing these videos and I'll see y'all in the gym. We out. All right, y'all, y'all see the gym fit for today. We got on the full sleeper build sweatsuit. Nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. If you want to cop this for yourself, the link is in the description below. Also, got on the, got on the Jordan 11s for today. Look good, feel good, lift good. Y'all already know how this go. Let's knock out this upper body lift. We're actually gonna start off with bench for today's workout. Well, first off, we're gonna warm up the supporting muscles, back, triceps, hit these band pull-aparts for a little bit. And if you have a stanchion like here, some, tricep extensions paired with some of those back pulls. So we're only doing three sets on bench today. 12, 10, and then eight. Starting off with 185s, nothing too crazy. This is my favorite workout to do in the weight room. If this ain't your favorite workout, we can't be friends. Going too high with the weight for today. Moving up to 205 for 10 reps. Some of y'all might be in the comment sections. This is how you know perspective is everything. Cause some of y'all are looking at the weight that I'm putting up and saying, bro, putting up 185, repping 225 is crazy. And then others are gonna be like, that's not that big of a deal. To some it's not, to others it is. Perspective is everything. Ain't no fucking bodybuilder. I ain't no fucking power lifter. I'm a hooper who likes to pick up heavy stuff. There we go. Moving up to 225, eight reps. I'm not gonna lie, that felt mad easy. I think I got a whole bunch of extra testosterone circulating through my body because it's November. If you know, you know. I've been going strong for the last week and a half, and I got way too much energy. I think we add an extra set to this. Friday, we're not lifting for another two days anyway. Throw some tens on there real quick. 245 for five reps. That feels better. Back on the landmine setup, we're doing kneeling shoulder presses. Same knee forward as the arm you're gonna be pushing with. This is for core stability, and the angle that the landmine provides allows us to get our shoulders and upper chest involved during the movement. Whew. That's why I don't be bothering nobody when I record in the weight room. I always make sure that I ask if I'm in anybody's way, make sure that I'm not in nobody's way. I let people walk through the camera, like I don't be tripping off of none of that. Even when they stop and look at me and say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm like, no, nah, you could walk through. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm not trying to, you know, make it an inconvenience for anybody. I'm just trying to make sure I get my content in as I'm working out. But I swear, some people are just naturally assholes. Now, we spamming these lateral raises because we still want to make sure that we look like a Mack truck coming down the lane and make sure that they know that if they follow us, we getting the and what, you know what I'm saying? We getting that and what. But we gonna keep the lateral races kind of light. Uh, only gonna keep it at 40s for today. I'm gonna voice over and talk to y'all while I do this and tell y'all what just happened. While I was recording that last workout, bro walked through the camera. I didn't mind until he shot a look. Like looked at the camera and then looked at me. And I don't know who he had with him, but he looked to his man. He like had a little bit of attitude when said, he was like, and what's this guy recording for? And I'm like, all right, like I let that one slide. And then he said some slick shit like, everybody thinks there's somebody these days. Like what? Motherfucker, you, you don't know what we're in here for. Cause you obviously don't know who Big Lottie Gang is. I'm not even saying like he should know who I am. What I am saying 
is that the same way that I don't know what your beef is, you don't know what the hell I'm in here for. Little does he know, at the, point, at the time that we recording this video, we got 80,000 plus motherfuckers on YouTube alone, which isn't even my main platform yet. That's investing in these workouts. I, I wasn't bothering you. And I'm gonna show y'all where I had the cam, I'm gonna show y'all where I had the camera tucked just to show y'all that I wasn't in nobody's way. He went out of his way to, to make this statement and try to make an example out of me. Let me get back to these Lyle Razors. Now I'm, t I'm mad, I'm sweating, but we look all right. We got a decent pump going, gang. All natty, boulder shoulders on the way. We're not there yet, but they on the way. Mm. <laughs> Anytime y'all see me on the landmine and I'm on the camera, my camera is tucked off in the corner right here, just so y'all know and nobody's ever over here. So now we back on the landmine, about to do some single arm landmine rows. <sighs> Notice on these we have a slight twist in the upper body to engage the obliques and increase the trunk strength that we get out of this workout. It's actually easier to see from this angle, but yeah, man, two sets of 10 each arm. <clears throat> After that, we mix in some calisthenics for upper body control and general strength. Two sets of pull-ups to failure. Supersetting that with body weight dips to failure. After that, it's a classic arm superset with these rope cable tricep extensions. Superset it with these rope cable curls. Constant tension on the arms throughout the whole sets. We was definitely feeling this afterwards, but we not done yet. This was the killer and the core workout for today. Kept our knees tucked for five pull-ups and engaged the whole upper body and strengthened the posterior chain and finished it with an ISO hold. Arms at a 90 degree angle for grip strength and strengthening those upper body joints and keeping the core contracted the whole time. Two sets, five pull-ups with a 15 second hold. Ah. Then a quick little posing session afterwards. Not really because I don't know how to pose at all. Even though I have my moments where I lack a little bit of confidence in my body, today won't those days because we was feeling good. Muscles was looking a little bit more defined than usual. This new split is paying off already. I was wilding with this pose though, that was OD. I feel like one day I'm gonna get a lot bigger than this and I'm gonna look back at these videos and think, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> but this is one of the rare moments where I feel confident in my body because y'all already know, body dysmorphia be kicking ass, bro. Like, that shit is undefeated, no cap. I'm seeing myself in the camera, not gonna lie, getting a little caught up. Now the kids had a full court game going on and I didn't feel like kicking them off the court. So instead we had an extended stationary ball handling session. I don't know why my mic cut out here, but this is basically what I was saying. I wanted to show y'all how to get the most out of stationary ball handling and what the general purpose is. We started off with those fast taps, increasing hip mobility as we leaned to each side. Then got into ball manipulation combos and wraps. After that, we faced the wall and started working that offhand a little bit. Sometimes you gotta swipe a defender's hand away and this drill will come in handy for helping you with that. Neurologically strengthening the connection with your offhand. One thing I will admit, I do want to work on getting lower into my stance when I'm dribbling. I generally have a more upright posture, but when I get lower to the ground, I'm usually able to blow by defenders a lot easier. Now, as we do these combinations, notice that my head is up, scanning the floor the entire time, even over exaggerating how far I'm looking, focusing on my surroundings rather than the ball to increase ball control. Remember, you control where the ball goes, not the other way around, so you shouldn't need to move your feet. Today's workout didn't necessarily go as planned when it came to the court work. I wanted to do some more shot creation stuff, but it looks like we'll just extend tomorrow's workout. We're only going in for one session and we're only doing a mobility lift beforehand so we should be in and out of there within like 30 minutes we'll probably try to spend at least two hours on the court tomorrow fatigue is starting to settle in so with the mobility lift and then the active recovery on sunday it's two days of light lifting in order for us to recover so far i'm feeling good and i'm actually seeing the difference in my body i didn't just take my shirt off for this clip just to flex for the cameras or whatever there's a clear difference in how you know my waist is slimming down just a little bit there's a lot more definition in certain muscles because I'm shedding a lot more fat. High metabolism, so I get to see these results a little bit quicker. But don't get discouraged when you're going on your own journey. Keep it going. I'm hoping that this series is serving as motivation, just like the Big Guard Boot Camp served as motivation for a lot of y'all. I appreciate the support that y'all been showing the channel so far, too. It's really crazy, because we had over 80,000 subscribers, bro, and we're only going up from there. But for tonight, I'm gonna shower, go through the same stretch routine that we went through yesterday. And for tonight, since y'all didn't get to see dinner last night, we got leftovers for dinner tonight. 
I'm also gonna be editing a lot more videos. You already know I gotta edit on the baseline so that none of the other content stops just because we're recording these workouts. It's kind of like I'm just showing you all the things that I do on a regular on top of everything that I do when it comes to content. I really hope that y'all are appreciating all the work that I'm putting in. I mean, I can't say that y'all aren't. Like, it's showing when it comes to how we're growing on all the platforms. But I'm getting ready to end this video. I just wanted to express a little bit more of appreciation for y'all. Until next time, which is tomorrow, y'all know the vibes. It's peace, love, and happiness to everybody. Continue to stay safe, and I will see y'all for tomorrow's workout. Big Lottie game. Throw the fours up in the chat. We out.